What's up, navigation traders? I want to show you a trade example that we're doing in XRT. So we've currently got this adjusted strangle on in XRT. It's in the March cycle, which currently has 17 days left to expiration. So remember, once we get under that 21 days to expiration, the risk or the gamma starts to accelerate. So on these uncovered or naked option positions, we want to roll those out to the next expiration cycle to extend that duration and minimize our risk. So that's what we're going to do here. The other factor to look at is if we look at the chart, you can see the IV percentiles at 96, IV rank at 46. So IV is very high. So the thought process is if we didn't have a current position on an XRT, would we be adding a new one? And the answer is yes. Look, liquid options, high implied volatility, a great candidate to, to have a position on in uh, a short strangle or some type of, of short premium position. So the other thing we, we want to look at is this is an adjusted strangle. And um, if you look at just the call side, what you'll see is all the almost all the premium is out of that. So if this if this XRT continues to move lower, those calls aren't really benefiting us much. So we would want to look to roll these down anyway. And in this case, since we're rolling out to April, we can do it all in one transaction. So let me show you how to do that. So we're simply going to highlight the trade, right click, oops, highlight the trade, right click, create rolling order, sell the double diagonal. Again, don't pay attention to the fact that it calls it a double diagonal. We're essentially just closing out the current position, rolling it out to the next monthly cycle, which in this case is the April 20th cycle. And then remember, the other thing we want to do is the calls that are currently at 48, we want to roll those down to about the 46. That's going to allow us to collect more credit. It's going to give us the ability to, uh, to add some premium to these calls since these are already basically dead. We've already gained as much profit out of those basically as we possibly can. So we want to roll the calls from 48 to 46, okay? So remember, the current position, we're closing out the 46 puts and the 48 calls, and we're re-entering in, uh, in the next cycle and at the short 46 calls and for, uh, short 46 puts. So we're essentially rolling out to the next expiration cycle, and we're rolling the calls down to strikes. And by doing this, it gives us a credit of about 100, probably get filled about 158. If we if we move this back to the 48 where it originally was, now look, you know we we collect a much smaller credit. So by rolling these calls down, uh, out you know out to the next cycle, but also down to the 46 strike, it's giving us a much bigger credit. So when we do go to close this trade, we're going to benefit from that, assuming price uh, plays nice and stays in our range. So I hope that helps. I'm going to go ahead and get filled on this, and we'll see you in the next lesson. If you'd like to learn more about how we've taught over 10,000 members how to trade options for consistent income, just go to our site, navigationtrading.com, click on the big orange button, and we'll give you immediate access to our flagship course, Trading Options for Income. We'll also give you the Navigation Trading Implied Volatility Indicator that you see on our charts along with the watch list that we use to trade the most profitable symbols day in and day out. All this is yours, no cost. Just go to our site, navigationtrading.com, and we look forward to seeing you on the inside.